Hi guys, as you can see, you guys are familiar with what happened here. I got something to say, and you know there's always something behind the story that you guys don't know at all. So, while I was getting my face pounded right here, if you realize, it wasn't, it wasn't really a fight basically, it was all a setup. Cause this guy really just came up to me and slammed me on the fucking floor. Like what kind of shit is that? And he took advantage. And also that was already planned and everything. Because if I'm gonna fight with someone, I'm gonna fight someone with the hands. I'm not gonna go immediately and slam somebody and then leave them actually like almost dead. And just leave them there. And then make a rumor saying that I touched his sister when one, it's not his sister. Two, he don't even, he hasn't even been in that block for like not even like a whole year and three this guy's just doing it for fame and this guy's just doing it for attention behind the story this is what really happened right i was accused of touching some girl first it started with unzipping her zipper first it started me taking off her pants and now it's eventually i'm the guy raped her so there's three stories not even there's more stories to that because I'm hearing still more stories to this so this has got to end because people that know who I really am know that I will never touch a girl I will never touch a girl younger than me I have a little sister that's the same age as her and she's like everything to me I'll take a bullet for her in anything and I don't blame I don't blame y'all people because if someone posts something up and saying this guy's a rapist and this and that, all right. But there's always a side to something. There's always behind something. There's always a secret behind something. Because how I look at it, how is he going to say that I raped this girl? Because if she was really getting raped or whatever, I'm pretty sure she'll be like, help me, da-da-da, and say, help me, like, yell or something. And how, how, how come, how, where's the poof at? I would have been in jail in court dealing with that case but instead this guy keeps on calling me a bitch and saying putting my name out there and saying a bad name out there so what did I do I said I'm gonna come here and I'm not gonna show everybody that I'm a bitch and if I don't come everybody's gonna think I did it so what I did I manned up I came here and yeah I thought I was we were gonna fight but it was all set up picked me up and slammed me and what else did he do he had one of her friends hack my Facebook and fucking post that video up. And another thing is that one of the friends that that dude was chilling with, she was mad because one of her exes was feeling me. But she left her for some other girl and did her dirty. And now she got mad because I'm being a great friend with her. And that's why she hacked my shit. And another thing that happened in this fight, this guy kicked me and almost killed me. For something that I didn't even do. And that's not right. This has got to end. And if y'all if y'all don't believe me. And y'all want to feel my pain. Look. You think, you think this is awesome? You think this is great? Put yourself in my shoes. Accused of raping a girl. When first it was taken off her pants. I'm by her pants and I was raping a girl. Guys, open your eyes. There's people that don't. That hate on you. There's a lot of people that are hating on me. I'm a great person. Ask anybody that really knows me. Don't ask anybody that knows me like that. Ask anybody that knows me.